like the video or I'm just going to leave. I'm going to just straight up leave. That's it. We got until term three to like the video or I'm, I'm straight up out of here. Peace, bish. Part two. Verdant wind. Harpstring moon. The golden scheme. This is a big map, big, big map, a lot of ground to cover. Good for three houses movement abilities, bad cause not a lot pushes you to cover that large distance quickly. The several points where reinforcements spawn only ever spawn one unit per point in a seemingly random order. While it does beef up the group of enemies during engagements, it's really nothing substantial that you need to rush through to stop at all. Just, you can kind of leave it be and get it at your own pace. The Death Knight is in the center of the map. Killing him before he escapes the map ends the chapter immediately. And at this point, we've fought him so many times, it's pretty easy to just send a single unit over and one round him. If my Lysithia had one more point of magic, that is! Regardless, not too terrible chasing down the boss. When clearing out the map normally, everything is spread out so much that you can pretty much just engage them at your own pace, and none of the other groups really care at all. The only form of overlap comes from the Ballistas, and three out of four of them have nobody defending the Ballistaticians, or even people that will start moving if you take them out. So those are basically a non-factor, which is not great design, but I hate them, so it's good in my book. It can get a little hectic near the end, especially when trying to take out the last Ballista, but nothing too demanding really. Oh yeah, there are green units that are kind of just there. Whether they live or die doesn't really matter and the one that will actually survive gets distracted by reinforcements and won't take your kills, so once again, a non-factor. Honestly, the best part of this map is that it just looks so pretty. The city levels and three houses perfectly capture that tabletop aesthetic, and this one just looks so clean. Mwah. Oh, it's beautiful. The design, though, eh, four out of 10. A little boring, but it's fine. It's okay.